Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Manda, licensed esthetician and lash artist. Today I am trying four tweezers from Amazon. They are volume lash tweezers. I am using 0.07 diameter lashes from Baba Lash. You can also find those on Amazon. I am going to be testing them against my Pride and True Live by Lash tweezers, the Vegas Nights one are my jam. So I'm trying other ones to see if I enjoy them. I will be testing them in person. You can see it for yourself and see how they work. I just wanna tell you welcome. This is my very first voiceover. Right now you can see my little setup. I am showing you my favorite tweezers. These are from Live Bay. They are called the Vegas Night Tweezers. They are my tried and true. They get me through every set. They're a little greasy because I put lotion on my hands for this video. As you can see, there's like balled up lotion on my hands. I was trying not to be ashy for you guys. But anyways, they have a 45 degree angle and they are perfect. I use them from classic all the way to mega volume and they are great. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a bunch of tweezers so I can show you exactly how I do my volume fans. I use the pinching method, so let me go ahead and pick them up. I was struggling trying to record this for you guys, but there we go, and pop. See how perfect they pick up from the strip? Nothing out of place. I'm gonna go ahead and pinch them and fan them. You can literally see the fan spread out perfectly one by one. That's what I like to see in a tweezer. I twist a little bit towards me to make sure that the, the base is nice and tight dip it in that glue and place it on the little makeup sponge. Makeup sponges are great for practice. You can practice your fans over and over and over and just place them on a makeup sponge. I use that a lot in the beginning and it worked a lot for me. So there I go, placing it on there. And that is my control lash. So I'm gonna compare all the other Amazon tweezers to this lash. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, the very first Amazon tweezer I am testing out is this Vetus 6A-SA Mega Curved L Anchor Tweezer. What a mouthful. I absolutely love the packaging. The brown leather is beautiful. I think it protects the tweezer very well. Um, it has a little magnet. The tweezer came out nice and easy, so no complaints there. It is a standard boot cut or boot tweezer. Perfect for beginners. Um, I learned on a boot tweezer I really wanted to try a boot tweezer because they make fanning very easy. It has a lot of grip, a lot of control in a boot tweezer, so I wanted to test these out to show you guys a beginner tweezer. So right now I'm picking up the lashes just like the last time, getting my little bunch. And there we go, almost. There we go. And... I'm showing you that it picked up pretty well. There was one stray little lash that I was able to take out very easily. No complaints there. It happens. Go ahead and pinch the lashes. I wanted to test out the control and the grip on this boot tweezer was insane. So it really allows you to have a lot of control. Um, I had to wiggle a little bit to get the lash right. But of course, when you're trying new tweezers, it takes more than one time to figure out whether or not you like them. For the most part, I had to finagle a little bit to get it right, but it did come out pretty decent for a $10 tweezer. This tweezer does retail for $9.99 on Amazon. I think it's really good for a beginner tweezer. Um, not as perfect as my Vegas Nights, my tried and true, but I really can't complain. I'm gonna go ahead and place that next to my control lash and you guys can take a look and compare. All right, tweezer number two. These are called the Bielian Volume Queen Eyelash Tweezer style AS09. These retail for $9.99 on Amazon. I really like these tweezers because I thought the stainless steel looked really nice. It had a different style of a boot tweezer than I've ever tried, so I really wanted to test these out. So right now I'm gonna pick up the lashes and see how they pick up. And let's see, get a good grip on them. 
it's really interesting to try out different tweezers because you really don't know where the sweet spot is. So that's something you have to try and figure out. Right now I'm testing the pinching method. So first things first that I notice is that this tweezer has absolutely no control. The fans open way too big. You don't have the one by one uh, tension on the lash that you can fan out the fan as big or as small as you like. I had to keep pinching and pinching and pinching to try to get it right. Then eventually I moved into a different pinching method to try to straighten out the base, which you would see right here. I tried this technique and it just wasn't working for me. This was my third attempt on making a fan with this tweezer just for the video. So I decided that this one just is a negative. It's a no for me. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the makeup sponge so you can compare. You can see that the base is not tight at all. The lashes are all different lengths and levels and it's just not very neat. So I would definitely say a no to this one. Amazon lash number three or lash tweezer rather is an M lash diamond grip rainbow mermaid 45 degree tweezer. This one was the most expensive of them all. This one was $15. The packaging was beautiful. I, if I have to give it a rating, it is a 10 out of 10 for packaging. It came in this nice box, which I'm struggling to open, but I eventually get it open. And inside is this beautiful, there it goes, this beautiful rainbow tweezer. As far as color, packaging, the way they market it or sell it is absolutely beautiful. I like the angle on it. It was very similar to the angle of the, um, the lash tweezers that I use, the Vegas Nights from Live Bay Lash. You can see them here. I'm comparing them. They're a little bit longer and a little bit more of a 90 degree angle than a 45 degree angle, but they are, you know, I really had hopes for them because I figured that they would do well. So here I am testing them out go ahead and pick up my little bunch of tweezers, bunch of tweezers, bunch of lashes. I'm getting all confused. Tweezers, lashes, tweezers, lashes. <laughs> Anyways, they picked up from the strip. Okay. They're a little uneven, but I was going to try to make them work. There I go with the pinching method. It does have a little bit of, um, loss of control there, but not as bad as the previous tweezers. You can see that I am struggling a little bit to get it right, but overall not terrible, but also not great. I was able to get a decent fan on the first try and right here we can see the comparison. So definitely better than the previous, but not as good as my Vegas Nights. Down to our last and final tweezer. These tweezers are from OB Eyelash Store in the style 51SA, and they retail for $9.99 on Amazon. I was excited to try these because these look the most similar to the ones that I use daily. I had a little bit of struggle trying to take them out of the package. They were a little tight in there. Not really a fan of the packaging, but that's no big deal. All right, you can see them here. I am about to compare them to the ones that I use every day. You see that 45 degree angle? Oh, just perfection. And there goes my tried and true. Nice little comparison. I like that these don't um, keep the, the fingerprints, which is nice. The stainless steel is a little different. It doesn't keep the fingerprints on there. So that looks pretty cool. Go ahead and pick the lashes up from the strip. And pop, there they go. Oh, you can tell that they came off the strip so good. Go ahead and squeeze those together. Oh, do you see how beautiful that fan? I'm finagling with it a little bit because I like my fans to be perfect, but you can just tell the way these spread so nicely and the control I have over them. I could be a little biased to a 45 degree tweezer because that's what I use often, but I did not struggle as much to get this fan right as I did with the previous three. So there goes that perfect needle point base. Go ahead and dip it in the glue and place it on the makeup sponge. I really like these tweezers. Um, let's go ahead and compare them and you can make a judgment from there.
All right, and that is it for the video. As you can see, I did like that last tweezer that was very similar to the one that I used. So I think I'm gonna be keeping that one and returning the rest. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it informational or useful. If you like, please give me a big like or subscribe. I really appreciate it. Our family is growing and I'm so excited about it. So I wanna thank you guys so much. As always, love you guys. See you guys later. Bye.